recognition and identification of gases experiment 1 objective to identify an unknown gas by dry heating test materials required test tube test tube holder reagent bunsen burner red and blue litmus papers candle matchbox lime water starch iodide paper ammonia solution agno3 solution filter paper strips acidified potassium dichromate solution lead acetate solution concentrated hcl nestler's reagent anhydrous copper sulfate blue cobalt chloride paper and potassium iodide solution procedure and observations take a small quantity of the unknown substance heat it gently on the bunsen burner so that it decomposes or undergoes a chemical change as a result a gas is evolved 1 test for hydrogen gas h2 hydrogen is a colorless and odorless gas it is a neutral gas so it does not change the color of either moist or dry litmus paper confirmatory test bring a burning candle close to the mouth of the test tube the gas burns with a pop sound this confirms that the gas is hydrogen 2. Test for oxygen gas O2. Oxygen is a colorless and odorless gas. It is a neutral gas, so it does not change the color of either moist or dry litmus paper. Confirmatory test. Bring a glowing splinter close to the mouth of the test tube. The splinter reignites. This confirms that the gas is oxygen. 3. Test for carbon dioxide gas, CO2. Carbon dioxide is a colorless and odorless gas. It is an acidic gas. So, it turns moist blue litmus paper red. Confirmatory test. A. Bring a burning candle close to the mouth of the test tube. The candle blows out or is extinguished. The gas may be carbon dioxide gas. B. Pass the gas evolved through freshly prepared lime water. Lime water turns milky. This confirms that the gas is carbon dioxide. 4. Test for chlorine gas, Cl2. Chlorine is a greenish-yellow gas and has a choking odor. Confirmatory test. A. Place moist blue litmus paper in a test tube of the gas. It turns red. After some time, the litmus paper gets bleached, white. The gas is acidic in nature and has bleaching action. B. Bring moist starch iodide paper close to the mouth of the test tube. It makes moist starch iodide paper blue-black. This confirms that the gas is chlorine. 5. Test for hydrogen chloride gas, HCl. Hydrogen chloride is a colorless gas with a pungent odor. It is an acidic gas, so it turns moist blue litmus paper red. Confirmatory test. A. Bring a glass rod dipped in ammonia solution near the gas evolved. Dense white fumes are formed. This confirms that the gas is hydrogen chloride. B. Pass the gas evolved through AgNO3 solution, curdy white precipitate is formed. 
this confirms that the gas is hydrogen chloride. 6. Test for sulfur dioxide gas, SO2. Sulfur dioxide is a colorless, acidic gas with a pungent odor similar to the smell of a just struck match. Confirmatory test A. Place moist blue litmus paper in a test tube of the gas. It first turns red and then bleaches it. The gas is acidic in nature and has bleaching action. B. Bring a filter paper strip soaked in acidified potassium dichromate solution close to the mouth of the test tube. The paper turns from orange to green. This confirms that the gas is sulfur dioxide. 7. Test for hydrogen sulfide gas, H2S. Hydrogen sulfide is a colorless gas with rotten egg smell. Confirmatory test A. Place moist blue litmus paper in a test tube of the gas. It turns red. The gas is acidic in nature. It may be hydrogen sulfide gas. B. Bring a filter paper strip soaked in lead acetate solution to the mouth of the test tube. It turns black. This confirms that the gas is hydrogen sulfide. 8. Test for ammonia gas, NH3. Ammonia is a colorless gas with a characteristically pungent odor. Confirmatory test. A. Place moist red litmus paper in a test tube of the gas. It turns blue. The gas is basic. It may be ammonia gas. B. Bring a glass rod dipped in concentrated HCl near the mouth of the test tube. Dense white fumes are produced. The gas may be ammonia gas. C. Bring a filter paper dipped in colorless Nestler's reagent, alkaline solution of potassium mercuric iodide close to the mouth of the test tube. It turns pale brown. This confirms that the gas is ammonia. 9. Test for water vapor. Water vapor is a colorless and odorless gas. It is a neutral gas. So, it does not change the color of either moist or dry litmus paper. Confirmatory test A. Pass the gas evolved in anhydrous copper sulfate. It turns from white to blue. This confirms that the gas is water vapor. B. Bring a blue cobalt chloride paper close to the mouth of the test tube. The paper turns pink. This confirms that the gas is water vapor. 10. Test for nitrogen dioxide, NO2. Nitrogen dioxide is a reddish brown gas, has an odor often likened to bleach. Confirmatory test A. Place moist blue litmus paper in a test tube of the gas. It turns red. The gas is acidic in nature. It may be nitrogen dioxide. B. Bring a filter paper strip soaked in potassium iodide solution close to the mouth of the test tube. The paper turns brown and violet vapors are liberated. This confirms that the gas is nitrogen dioxide. Result. By performing suitable tests, Various gases have been identified. Precautions 1. Always use an apron, an eye protector and hand gloves while working in the chemistry laboratory. 2. Before using any reagent or a chemical, read the label on the bottle carefully. Never use unlabeled reagent. 3. Do not mix chemicals and reagents unnecessarily. Never taste any chemical. 4. 
be careful in smelling chemicals or vapors. Always fan the vapors gently towards your nose. 5. Litmus paper should be moistened with water before use. 6. Be careful while heating the test tube. The test tube should never point towards yourself or towards your neighbors while heating or adding a reagent.